In this video I am going to show you how to create the Facebook Pixel and how to install it on system.io. The first thing you need to do is to go on your Facebook profile. At the upper right corner of your screen, beside the messenger icon, you need to click on this menu icon. Then you need to click on Ads Manager. If you have multiple ads accounts, you need to select the one you are planning to use. Then you need to go on the left menu and click on All Tools. Then click on Event Manager. Then click on Connect Data Source. Select the option Web since we are sending prospects to our website. Then click on Connect. Here we need to enter the name of the pixel. Then we need to enter our domain name. Then we need to click on Check. Then click on Next. Here we are going to select the option Meta Pixel Only. Then we need to click on Next. For some reason the pixel code did not display. So we need to click on the left menu on Data Source. Then we need to select the pixel we just created. Here's the window that should have pop up earlier. Click on Install Code Manually. Then you need to click on Copy Code to copy the pixel code you need to paste on your website. We are going to paste the code on three pages. The first page we are going to add the code to is our landing page. For that we need to go to our system.io dashboard. We need to select the first page of our sales funnel and then we need to click on Edit Page. Then we need to click on Settings. Then we need to scroll down until we see Edit Header Code. We need to click on it. Here we already have the code of our chatbot. We can paste our pixel code on top of it. Then we need to click on Save. Then we need to click on Save Changes. And then we need to exit this page. The second page we need to add the code to is our checkout page. So we need to select the second page of our sales funnel in our dashboard and then we need to click on Edit Page. Then we need to click on Settings. Then we need to scroll down until we see Edit Header Code. We need to click on it. Then we need to paste our pixel code. We also need to paste the code that will track the event, Initiate Checkout. Here is the code. You will find a code below this video. Then we need to click on Save. Then we need to click on Save Changes and then we need to exit this page. The third page we need to add the code to is our thank you page. This is the page where students will land after they purchase the course. So we need to select the third page of our sales fellow in our dashboard and then we need to click on edit page. Then we need to click on settings. Then we need to scroll down until we see edit header code. Then we need to paste our pixel code. We also need to paste the code that will track the event. Purchase. Here is the code. You will find the code below this video. Then we need to click on Save. Then we need to click on Save Changes. Then we need to go back to Facebook to finish the configuration of our pixel. We need to click on Continue. Then we need to activate Turn on Automatic Advanced Matching. Then we need to click on Continue. Then click on Go to Pixel Overview. Now we need to create our custom conversions. Custom conversions will give instruction to Facebook on how to track event on our website. The first event we need to track is when a user visits the checkout page. So we need to click on Create. Then we need to select Custom Conversions. We need to enter Checkout as the name. For description, we need to enter Initiate Checkout.
Then we need to copy the URL of the checkout page and paste here. Then we need to click on Create. The second event we need to track is when a user makes a purchase. So we need to click on Create. Then we need to select Custom Conversions. We need to enter Purchase as the name. For description, we need to enter Purchase. Then we need to copy the URL of the Thank You page and paste here. You also have the option to enter the value of the conversion. Then we need to click on Create. Our customs conversions are now ready to go. Before we start running ads using this pixel, we need to share the pixel with our Facebook profile and with our ad account. So we need to click on Settings. Then we click on Share with an ad account. We first need to verify our email. Then we need to click on Assign People. Then we need to select the profile we want to give access to. We need to enable Full Control. And then we need to click on Assign. Then click on Done. Now we need to click on Assign Acid. We need to select the ad account we want to give access to. Then we need to click on Add. Then click on Done. The last thing we need to do is to make sure that our Pixel is installed correctly on our website. For that, we need to install the Facebook Pixel Helper. Click the link below this video to access the Facebook Pixel Helper. Then click on Add to Chrome button. Then click on Add Extension. Here's the confirmation that the Pixel Helper has been added. And this icon will appear on your Chrome browser. We need to test the Pixel on our different pages. As you can see on the landing page, the pixel is tracking the event, Page Views. Here on the checkout page, the pixel is tracking Page Views and Initiate Checkout. And then finally on the Thank You page, the pixel is tracking page views and purchase. As you can see, our pixel has been installed correctly. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet, and don't forget to click the notification button. I hope you guys learned and enjoyed this video. Thank you, and have a great day.